Today we will discuss on the topic how our attitude plays an important role in our life. In 1776, shortly after taking command of the American Revolutionary Army, General George Washington learned that he had very limited gunpowder for each soldier to fire bullets. However, Washington was determined to drive the British out from Boston. One morning, when the British soldiers were shocked to find that the hills looking down on Boston were bristling with cannon, the British chose not to fight. They evacuated 10,000 men and 200 warships. Boston was liberated without a shot being fired. What the British didn't know was that Washington had played a game of bluff. It is called military deception. Though Washington was hardly left with gunpowder for his soldiers, he had the display of great offensive capability. If you observe carefully, today people do many things primarily because other people are doing it regardless of their own beliefs. It is called bandwagon effect. For example, aping a trendy hairstyle which is not matching with one's looks. Wearing an uncomfortable attire to feel accepted in the peer group. Eating junk food at eateries because your friends are doing it, etc. Around 80 to 90 percent of what we think comes from our habits of thoughts called attitudes. Those habits of thoughts come from our beliefs and our values. One's beliefs and values come from the environment one lives. Self-esteem plays a significant role in building one's attitude. In psychology, the term self-esteem is used to describe a person's overall subjective sense of personal worth and value. Self-esteem is how we value and pursue ourselves. In fact, you determine your attitude and you have total control on it. Unfortunately, many people cling to beliefs and attitudes that restrict them rather than which empowers their performance. A Harvard psychologist, William James, once said, the greatest discovery of my generation is that human beings can alter their life by altering their attitudes of mind. So what is attitude? Attitude is the way you choose to see, respond to events, situations, people and yourself. It is the way you look at life. Your attitude is not something that happens to you. You choose your attitude. Your attitude is created by your thoughts and you choose your thoughts. Michael Jordan has been often referred to as the best basketball player of all times. When he was very young, he was not even thought to have a great talent. He attributes his success to his many failures which helped him to try even hard. Michael Jordan had the right attitude and it was a recipe for his success. Developing and sustaining a positive attitude is not merely a quick fix motivational technique. It is a disciplined skill that must be practiced and learned. For example, Mirabai Chanu, who won silver medal in weightlifting in Tokyo Olympics, is hailing from a remote village from Manipur. Her life was full of struggles and extreme poverty. However, it was her attitude towards life with discipline and commitment helped her fight against all odds and win silver medal and make our country proud. It is called positive effect. Indeed, how 
you see and respond to events is shaped by your mindset and patterns of thinking. For example, when Dronacharya wanted his students to shoot the bird on the tree as a test, he asked them what they could see on the tree. Everyone answered that they could see branches of the tree, leaves, birds and so on, except Arjun who said that he could see only the eye of a bird. Therefore, it is essential to train your mind and use it wisely. The mind is generally getting cluttered by pessimism, disapproval or cynicism. As a result, many are not able to achieve what they can. In the 1920s, when Ernest Hemingway was working hard to perfect his craft in his stories, he lost all his manuscripts. He was not even able to focus on redoing his work. He could only think of the months he had devoted to his writing for nothing. His guide and guru, poet Ezra Pound, called it stroke of luck when he met him. Ezra Pound assured Hemingway that if he rewrote the stories, he would forget the weak parts and only the best material would reappear. One of the most desirable attributes is an ability to see problems as opportunities. Ezra Pound cast it in the light of opportunity. Hemingway rewrote the stories and became the major figure in American literature. We have to focus all our mental energy on exploring solutions, taking effective action and learning how to get better. The way you think drives the way you feel. Therefore, consciously managing the way you perceive and process events is essential to a positive attitude. A key element in positive attitude is managing your self-talk. Managing your self-talk is critical because words carry thoughts and thoughts create feelings. A person with a default-driven negative mindset will focus on a situation and say something like, that's a stupid idea, it will never work. A person with a discipline-driven positive mindset will look at the same situation and say something like, that's an idea. I'm not sure if it will work, but let's explore it further and find out. Note the difference in language between these two mindsets. A person can make himself happy or miserable regardless of what is actually happening outside just by changing the conscious thoughts. How we feel about ourselves depends directly on how the mind filters and interprets everyday experiences. A baby mosquito who learned how to fly was set on a maiden flight. As it returned, the eager mother mosquito asked the baby mosquito, how is the maiden flight? The, bo the, the baby mosquito was so happy and said, Mommy, wherever I went, people were clapping for me. The mother mosquito realized that people were trying to kill the baby mosquito. However, it didn't want to discourage the baby mosquito. Hence, it advised its baby, Look, son, wherever people clap, always fly high. This is called positivity bias. Attitude plays an important role in one's achievement, performance and success. Hence, it is important to have positive and right attitude. Thank you. Have a great day.